Hello, welcome to the Spiritual Exercises of Ignatius. I've written a book called Exercises for Everyone, and I've always had a dream of just putting my book on YouTube <laughs> to share with other people. But if you want a copy of the book, just message me and I'll send it to you. It's free. <laughs> so today, this week, we have been looking at creation turning away from God. And um, we've looked at the fall of the angels. We've looked at the fall of Adam and Eve. We've looked at um, the parable that Jesus told <clears throat> about the rich man and Lazarus and the rich man going to hell. And Lazarus, the poor man going up. To heaven to be with in Abraham's bosom and then we did the uh, reckless prodigal God the story of the prodigal son and the prodigal God another parable by Jesus and today we are doing did I miss anybody I think that's one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's it. And then today we are doing a contemplation at the cross. And this is specific to um, Ignatius. And it's a wonderful contemplation at the cross. And um, But first we're going to do a little Lexio Divina in Romans 5, 1 through 11. Have we done any this week? We did imaginative contemplation. I'm trying to remember if we've done any. I don't think we have done any um, Lexio Divina, and we did so much at the very beginning. So here we go. I had music all queued up from Pray As You Go, and actually I even put the music on YouTube because it was beautiful is the choir in Kiev. But the Pray As You Go recording doesn't go all the way through Romans 5, 1 through 11. And I thought it was important to go all the way through. So I decided not to do it. So I invite you to close your eyes. To breathe slowly in and out. Just relaxing into God's presence, fixing your gaze upon him as he looks upon you with love and acceptance. Receive his loving gaze. God, we pray that more of our day would be directed to your service and praise. And we seek the grace to feel saddened to see creation turn away from you when you continually extend your mercy to your creation. I'll read from Romans 5, 1 through 11, from the New American Standard Bible. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we exult in hope of the glory of God, and not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance proven character, and proven character hope, and hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. For while we were still helpless, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for the good man someone would die. 
dare even to die. But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God through him. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only this, but we also exult in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. So just sit with that reading. So with this second reading, ask God to give you a word or phrase that shimmers for you, that really sticks out to you. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we obtained, have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we exult in hope of the glory of God. And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulation, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance proven character, and proven character hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who was given to us. For while we were still helpless, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for the good man someone would dare even to die. But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God through him. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only this, but we also exult in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. So what word or phrase shimmers for you. That's a lot of words, so if you want to open your Bible and really look at it again, not just hear me reading it, what word or phrase shimmered. And when you find that word or phrase, meditate on it. Reflect, chew on it, mull it over in your mind. Turn off the video if you need more time. I'm going to read a third time, and you'll have an opportunity at the end of that to respond to God in prayer. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we exult in hope of the glory of God, and not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance proven character, and proven character hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who is given to us. For while we were still helpless, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly, for one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for the good man someone would dare even to die. But God demonstrates his own love toward us 
and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God through him. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only this, but we also exult in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. So I invite you to respond to God in prayer, speaking to him and listening to what he has to say to you. Feel free to turn off the video if you need more time to talk to God. I'll read it this last time, and then at the end, we'll immediately enter into silence. About two minutes. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have obtained our introduction by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we exult in hope of the glory of God. And not only this, but we also exult in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance proven character, and proven character hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. For while we were still helpless, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for the good man someone would dare even to die. But God demonstrates his own love for us, toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God through him. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his Son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only this, but we also exult in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. Let's enter into silent contemplation.
So with your eyes still closed, I'll lead you through an imaginative contemplation at the cross. So imagine Christ, our Lord, present before you upon the cross. See him up on the cross. Look to see where you are. Are you kneeling or standing? What's your posture before him? And you might want to, in real time with your body, be in that posture before him whether it's kneeling or lying down or um, where, whatever, it can be sitting too. But you might even want to take that posture right now. Looking at Christ on the cross begin to speak to him. And Ignatius says, asking how it is that though he is the creator, he has stooped to become man and to pass from eternal life to death. That he might die for our sins. Have a little conversation with God or with Jesus about that, asking him how it is that though he is the creator, he has stooped to become man and to pass from eternal life to death. That thus he might die for our sins. And sit with that and listen to what he says. And also in that posture, reflect upon yourself and ask yourself, what have I done for Christ? What am I doing for Christ? What I, what ought I to do for Christ? Three mm -hmm. questions. What have I done for Christ? What am I doing for Christ? What ought I do for Christ? And as I behold Christ in this plight nailed to the cross, I shall ponder upon what presents itself to my mind. So continue in that posture. This is your colloquy, having a conversation with Christ. What have I done for Christ? What am I doing for Christ? What ought I do for Christ? As I behold Christ in this plight, nailed to the cross, I shall ponder upon what presents itself to my mind.